But what makes a po' boy so special is where it derived from. You see, it started from the Martin brothers, Bing and Clovis Martin. They had been conductors and worked their way pretty high up in managing in the streetcar line in the city of New Orleans. Because back at the turn of the century, you know, people didn't have vehicles. Vehicles was a luxury. And so these guys made their bones in the streetcar industry. And they retired. They did something they wanted to do. They opened up their own little grocery store, Martin Brothers Grocery, right on St. Claude Avenue. So figure this, 1929, height of the Depression, the streetcar workers, they weren't getting paid. And the streetcar worker said, you know what? Screw y'all, we're striking, and they quit. Any streetcar that was running a line in the city that wasn't run by a licensed union streetcar driver, oh yeah, they'd stop that streetcar in its tracks. And they flipped cars, they burned them. It's like flipping a train car, but they did it. Where the word got out to Benny and Clovis, they said, look, you boys come by the Martin Brothers grocery store, show us your badge, and we're gonna feed you. We're gonna feed our poor boys. And the first poor boy sandwich they take a potato, fry it up, hack it up, and then put a little roast beef gravy on it. It spread to wildfire right away. Right away. You'll have a guy with a $500 suit rubbing elbows with a guy who could barely afford his sandwich. They're eating the same thing, talking to each other, which otherwise these two people would never cross paths. Eight to 80, crippled to crazy. It's culture you can eat.